Hi everybody, Cindy Ellers here from Cindy Stamping Studio. Today's date is Monday, April 8th, 2024. I'm a couple minutes early, but better than being a couple minutes late, right? While I wait for people to hop on, I'm going to get myself set up on my Kindle and on my laptop. So just sit tight. We'll be, I'll be with you in just a moment. There we go. Yes. Oh, I don't have the, must not have the sound on my, uh, I do. There we go. So I hope everybody had a great weekend. We had a busy weekend. Very busy. And I see my friend Bernie is just topped on. So welcome. So nice to see you. Um, be sure to go and say hi to me and um, get, get entered into my door prize drawing. Uh, also, if you share my video with your friends, you'll also be entered into my door prize drawing because I give two. Um, as I was saying, I said to Jim tonight, I said, we're retired. Are we not supposed to be sitting around doing nothing once in a while? It's just like we've just one thing after another. We're so busy, but we're getting ready for an auction now. And that has been taking up a lot of our time, but I was glad to see it raining yesterday and cold and windy and cloudy today because that meant we couldn't work outside and I got all of the kit cards done so I can show them to you tonight. I'm happy about that. What else we got going? Tonight is my last chance, my last chance playing with stamp sets that, that will be retiring. And I figured, well, why just use one stamp set when I can use more than one and we can enjoy them one last time. Okay. Uh, as you know, tomorrow starts the last chance sale. Uh, you can get some really good bargains up to 60% off on certain items. And if you have your eye on a stamp set or one that I show you tonight, make sure you check out my online store and place your order or get those re-inkers. If you purchased the, the in colors from 2022 to 2024, which would be Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky, and Orchid Oasis, make sure you have re-inkers for that because they're retiring. May 1st. And so now's the time to do that. And I haven't seen anybody say hi yet. I see I have seven people on. I see Debbie Vine and there's Sally, unless I'm not. Let me see. Is that the old? Nope. You guys, you have to say hi to me. So, unless you're shy, you don't want to be the first person to say hi. But anyway, moving along. Tomorrow night is my April technique class. And it's going to be great. It's just, I love that technique so much. I know I'm going to use it again. Because it's quite easy. And it's a great way to use up designer series paper. So, I think this is going to be great. Okay, I'm just double checking to make sure I have all my settings on because I haven't seen anybody say hi yet. So um, hopefully you say hi because I'm seeing nothing. I see I have people watching, but I'm not seeing any, any chats. That's really weird. That's the first time that's happened. I'm sure you all have said hi. That's how you usually do it. I don't know. Anyway, I got the kit class, which is the 30th of April. I got those cards all done. 
these cards, these glasses are available as a class to go. So you don't have to um, worry if you live out of town or if you're too busy to come to class. I supply, oh, let's see now, Bernie, I can't read it. Bernie shared my video, I think. I don't know why I'm not getting any feedback at all. This is just odd. Let me see. That, it's supposed to be working. Yeah, okay. I don't want to touch anything and mess anything up. You know how that goes. Kit class is also going to be last chance stamping. I'm using every retired stamp set that I have. And um, so we can enjoy them one last time. I am also want to, I am pleased and happy to report, I just hit 200 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Who would have ever thought that that would happen? So if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, thank you very much. Um... I just don't get what I, I didn't do anything different than I usually do. Oh, well. Um, but 200 subscribers. That's wonderful. And I'm so happy. So anyway, um, I see you all here. That tells me you probably said hi. And I don't know, technical gift difficulty. Maybe when I'm done, they'll all show up. Who knows? So let's do our door prizes. Okay. I have some pool party gems here. It's kind of a combination pack, but they're all pool party. And I'm going to be sending these to Tracy Krantz from Pennsylvania. So Tracy, these will be coming your way. And these sparkly white ones, these are going to be sent to Karen Halterman in Iowa. So congratulations. Tracy Krantz and Karen Halterman. You both won door prizes. I got the envelopes all ready and I will get them sent out in the mail. Let's um, let's go and get started and um, I have lots to show you, okay? So let's see how Oh, there it is. Whoops, it disappeared. Hmm, there. There we go. You can see outside and how dreary it was. And I never saw the eclipse today, but I was extremely busy making cards, doing what I like to do. So it didn't bother me too bad, you know. Tonight's. Featured stamp sets will be Phrases for All, Bottled Happiness, and Beautiful Balloons. So we have some great stamp sets that will be retiring. I'm not sure which ones I'm keeping yet. I haven't gotten that far. But I, I sell some of my used stamps, and I also keep some, the ones that are favorites of mine. I have, I received this card um, this week, and I got this from Denise Weiger, and she was thanking me for the great maple syrup. I had sent her syrup in Colorado, and they loved it. So this is a really pretty card, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. I know we were supposed to get, I was supposed to get another card in the mail today, but it, it didn't show up, and I don't know why. Just so you know, I have a new April host code. Here it is. And now I'm going to show you the kit card cards. I have this beautiful um, I used the painted lavender. That's not retiring, but the words are 
charming sentiments and throughout the year. But the painted lavender is not. Just so you know. So that's number one card. Here's the number two card. It's the hot air balloon. That one isn't retiring either, but I but the paper is. And I made it into a fancy fold. Wish big, up, up, and away. Hooray, it's your birthday. A very cute and quick um, birthday card. And here is wishing you so much joy on this special day. This is a birthday card using the everyday details and lazy days. Not sure where that came from. I wanted to get this one. I wanted to use this one because the gems are retiring. This one uses the sending smiles. This one is retiring. And so is the designer series paper. So it's a sympathy card or thinking of you. Praying for his comfort to soften the sadness and bring you peace. Quiet reflections and sending smiles. I really like how that turned out. And I like the colors. Another graduation card. Even though this cap and gown stamp set is not retiring, the paper is. And I wanted to get the, the la last month graduation card went over really well. I wanted to get another one out there just in case. I have this really pretty thank you card using the earthen textures. This is retiring. And I have this card, wishing you comfort. Um, not only is the Orchid Oasis retiring, but so is the Meandering Meadows, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. It's comforting thoughts, thinking of you, praying for you, hoping with you. This is a stamp set that you hate to have to make these kind of cards because you feel they're sad, but you know, the person I send this to, it's going to lift them up and it's going to make them hopefully feel better for a little while. That's how I look at it. Okay, so these are the kit cards. I'll be taking pictures of them tomorrow and um, get them on my blog and get the kit class invite out there. Now, if you want to see up close personal cards, subscribe to my blog, which is also Cindy Stamping Studio. You can also get in on my mailing list. Just PM me your email address and I will get you on my mailing address so that you see all this stuff a little bit before everybody else. Okay, I'll put them there. I want to announce that for my March orders, the $15 shopping spree goes to Shar Johnson. And I'll be seeing Shar tomorrow night, so I will get that to her. Okay, let us put that right there so I don't lose it. Tonight we're going to use Early Espresso Pecan Pie. And the Vintage Bottle Punch. Oh, and Tahitian Tide. We're going to make a really neat, um, masculine birthday card tonight using these colors. And um, I think it's going to turn out great. I hope. We'll see what happens. See what else could go wrong, right? And maybe it's because it's so cloudy. I'm getting like no comments at all are coming through. I did see one response that said um, slow connection. And maybe that, you know, it's not nice and clear. So maybe the clouds have something to do with it. Maybe the eclipse had something to do with it. Who knows? Okay. So here is our card base using Tahitian Tide. It's retiring. It's our regular sideways card. That is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. 
It's going to be, oh, a sideways card. My mistake. And then we're going to use some Earth and Elegance as a layer. Right like that. I'm going to put that on. And we're going to just start building our card. This makes it kind of hard for me because I don't know what you're saying. And I'm sure you're saying a lot. But I might as well just tell you about my weekend. Getting ready for this auction has been pretty hard. It's been my dad's, it's my dad's estate. Ooh, can't say talk. My dad's estate. So there's a lot of stuff to go through. Well, this past weekend, Christy and the kids came to help. And oh boy, was that nice to have their help. Um, we came back down to our house and um, had lunch. And Andy's helping me make lunch. And so was Easton. And um, Andy says, you know what, Grandma? You're so stressed. You need a hug. And by gosh, she was right. I did need a hug. But I didn't ask for one. But she gave me the nicest hug I could ever ask for. One of those hugs where she, you know, the person hangs on and does, it isn't one of those quick hugs. She hung on and oh boy, that was so nice. And then Easton gave me a hug too. So from the, from the phrases for all, I'm getting the happy birthday stamp. And I'm using that. to stamp my happy birthday. The Phrases for All is a cool set. We have happy birthday, congrats, thank you, with all my heart. So there's a lot of neat things and you can build on them. You're all kinds of amazing. Let's pop some bubbly confetti cake for your happy day. Sending hugs and love when words aren't enough. And dear friend, can you see how this would be really you know, you could really use this one a lot. And, of course, the bottled happiness, I'm using the wine bottle. And for the balloons, I'm using the confetti. So, I just stamped happy birthday. I'm going to go and just set that aside because i got to use it again. I'm going to go and attach... My happy birthday to my Tahitian Tide as a layer. Just like that. And we're going to go and put some dimensionals on it. I have to tell you, this weekend, Andy is deathly afraid of mice. Hates them. Big time. Well, Grandpa, my Grandpa, Becker made a hammer stick. I don't know why, but the handle has got to be about six feet long and it's molded right into the hammer head. So she was walking around with that hammer all day Saturday. In case she saw, uh, in case she saw a mouse, you know, we can go and take the backing off our dimensionals and put them right on our card. So we're going to put that right here. You know, just a simple card. Like that. Yeah. I'll set that aside for now. Now I'm going to take another piece of earthen texture and my Early Espresso ink. Yep. And this just, the early espresso, this just, oh, where did my, oh, right here. This just um, makes the outline of the bottle. Like so. Okay. 
Now, I want to cover this up and get my pecan pie ink and we're going to stamp the bottle. All right. Like so. Oh, that turned out good. Turned out just fine. And, oh, pecan pie. I'm going to use this one again because I have this piece of pecan pie and I found that you need to go and have to put a backing on here because just the designer paper alone makes it not, it's kind of too flimsy. So that's what this is. We're going to punch one out. Oh, we'll just set that aside. Okay, and then I'm going to take my scissors and cut out my cork for the bottle. Kind of sad to see this one go. I probably will keep this one because I, I do like it. There. So we're just going to put him right there. Now, it's really too bad that I can't talk to you. But it's okay. This was a technique I shared a few years ago. When you take packaging tape, I want my bottle to be shiny. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I want my bottle to be shiny. And so what we do is we take the packaging tape and we put it over our stamped image. Oh, and there's a course. Oh, I got the bubble out. You just put it over it like so. There. And I'll just trim it a little bit. And this is where the punch comes in again. I have a wrinkle. Ah, oh well. And let's see. We're going to put it inside our punch like so. And you won't even see the wrinkle. There. Perfect. And now, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but now the bottle is shiny. I am going to put it on my uh, punched out bottle. And like I said, this is just for... Um, this is just to make it a little bit more sturdy. There we go. Okay. We're going to go and use dimensionals on the back. This is pretty cool. This is turning out just fine. I'm put my stopper right there. This is going to go right here. I guess if we didn't have any technical difficulty, you'd think there's something wrong. There's, there's that. Now I need 
a little dimensional to put on my stopper. And that's going to go. And this card is just going together great. Okay. Now, oh, didn't mean for that to show. We'll just trim it a little bit. There, we're fine. So we'll put this on our bottle like that. And let's do the inside. So now I'll get my early espresso out again. And on the inside, I'm going to say confetti and cake for your happy day. Let's pop some bubbly. Now they had kind of a cheesy saying, but that's okay. Um, planning on giving this card to my son. Because his birthday is Wednesday, the 10th. Well, that turned out just great. And let's put some confetti. I had to go th searching through all my stamp sets to find some confetti. To decorate the inside. Yeah, just like that. When I decorate the insides, it doesn't have to be elaborate or a lot. Just something to catch the eye. I'm hoping that all of the comments show up or right, if somebody knows what I did wrong feel free to send me an email or a message personal message I don't know what I did wrong okay not done almost not quite I have some silver sequins they are still current and I found that the silver looks great on this dark uh, designer paper and they look like bubbles so just the right touch and that's it that's my card for this week a nice masculine happy birthday card confetti and cake for your happy day let's pop some bubbly so there it is i hope you enjoyed today's card. I will be showcasing a couple more stamp sets next week as we say goodbye. It's a last chance to play with them. So yeah. And if you're interested in any of the kit cards, don't forget to let me know. First come, first serve, because this is all of the designer paper is retiring. So when I run out, sadly, that card won't be available anymore. So, okay. Take care, everybody. I'll see you next week. Hopefully I can figure out what I did wrong or what, what, right? Alrighty. Uh, take care.